Russian media outlets suggest that the large-scale production of an advanced stealth drone operating on reactive power and referred to as the S-70 Okotnik or Hunter is set to commence in late 2024. This information, as noted by the vice governor of the Novosibirsk district, Sergei Semek, warrants our attention. As the Siberian S-70 Hunter finishes its trials, it is expected to enter into service soon. A UKAV shaped and sized as a Russian S-70 has been spotted over Ukraine. Ukraine has stated, we can't get F-16S even if they're ready for supply. Why, you might ask? Well, rewind to April 2023, and Moscow had announced a serial production time frame for the S-70 Okotnik beginning no sooner than 2025. So, in essence, Russia is saying that they could kick off the production of this unmanned attack aircraft six months earlier than they initially intended. The buzz around an earlier-than-expected production timeline for the S-70 this year does hold some substance, even if the probability may seem slim. Well, as of mid-2023, the Russian Aerospace Forces, also known as VKS or RUAF, initiated state tests of the S-70 that could potentially pave the way for production. Suspense shrouds the progress of these tests, as Moscow is yet to disclose whether the testing is ongoing, how the tests are being executed, how the S-70 is faring, or the overall status of the project. This lack of transparency injects an element of doubt about Moscow's ability to commence serial production by the latter half of 2024. The S-70 Okotnik project has faced its share of skepticism in the past, primarily because of several delays in test completion and initiation of production. In 2020, Russia's UAC had set a goal to start S-70 production in 2023, which later shifted to 2024, and subsequently to 2025. In the summer of 2023, another dubious claim arose when Russia alleged that the S-70 Okotnik had hit targets in Ukraine. However, a comprehensive examination of the footage fails to corroborate this claim, suggesting it could have been the Iranian, or rather, Russian Shahed-171 instead of the S-70 Okotnik. Currently, there is no hard evidence to establish whether it was the Russian stealth drone or the Iranian drone. Let's take a moment to examine the S-70 Okotnik more closely. It's a sizable aircraft, boasting a fuselage length of 14 meters and a wingspan of 19 meters, roughly comparable to the MiG-29. It's worth noting that the S-70's takeoff weight is said to be up to 25 tons, including a combat load of up to 3 tons. The makeup of the 3-ton combat load of the S-70 Okotnik remains uncertain. Initial project surveys suggested that this jet-based UAV would feature a wide range of guided air weapons, from anti-aircraft missiles to tactical aviation cruise missiles. The aircraft reportedly has internal weapons bays akin to that of the Su-57 fighter, enabling the use of the same beyond visual range weaponry. This includes R-77M air-to-air missiles and K-59 MK-2 air-to-surface missiles that can evade radar detection. However, by late 2020, Russia communicated plans to use Okotnik for deploying unguided aerial bombs. Given this, it's plausible that Russia may aim to modify its S-70 to launch hovering bombs equipped with UMPK modules. However, the pace at which Russia can produce the Okotnik remains uncertain. First sighted in July 2018, the aircraft serves a compelling array of roles, encompassing breaches of enemy airspace and participation in air dominance missions. As the Okotnik fighters enhance their stealth capabilities and promise to be more cost-effective, they are expected to supplement the forces with advanced manned aircraft. Despite previous delays, the anticipated boost in production could lead to the delivery of 12 to 16 new airframes to the Air Force in 2023. Join Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including Early access to new videos Exclusive discounts on Intel products Behind-the-scenes content Live chat with me and other members Other options will be soon available Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow